this week was a very complex week for Netanyahu. The reason is that there were two different arena on which Netanyahu operated. One is his trial. The second is uh, the political arena. What happened this week in Netanyahu's trial was maybe the most devastating uh, thing that could have happened to Netanyahu because the primary witness on the stand was his CEO called the Shlomo Filber. He was the CEO of the Minister of Communication when Netanyahu was uh, the minister back in 2015. And he basically corroborated the corruption allegations, which, me which meant in this specific 4,000 case that Netanyahu was giving regulation favors to Alovich in return for, um, for a positive uh, coverage uh, on uh, the Alovich uh, uh, outlet Walla and other uh, places. So Filber was a key witness to look at the regulation side and the, his testimony actually was based on the personal way that Netanyahu was involved and basically instructing the CEO to do everything in his power to uh, give Alovich everything that he wanted in terms of regulation, which is uh, very, very disturbing in terms of, uh, you know, the fact is that the Ministry of Communication is the regulator of uh, Alovich, and here Alovich is actually uh, instructing the ministry what to do, and Filber gave this kind of testimony, which is very damning in terms of uh, Netanyahu's um, uh, trial. Uh, this is before Netanyahu's lawyers uh, actually attacked uh, this uh, testimony, but this is one part that happened this week. The other part was that Israel has suffered uh, three terrorist attacks and the right wing and especially Netanyahu were very, very combative in their reaction to these ter ter uh, terror attacks. Uh, and they basically said Bennett's government is unable to keep the safety of the Israeli citizens, which means that there was a lot of politicization, a lot of blame that Bennett's uh, government uh, actually suffered from the right wing, including a uh, um, a demonstration that took place uh, this evening and Netanyahu was part, it was the first time in many, many years that Netanyahu actually came uh, to the demonstration uh, and uh, gave their talk. It wasn't such a huge demonstration. There were only 3,000 uh, uh, right-wingers uh, uh, in, the, in the demonstration, but in terms of uh, um, the enthusiasm and uh, the kind of uh, being on the wave of uh, taking this coalition apart, uh, this was uh, crucial in terms of Netanyahu's uh, mission. So bad uh, uh, judicial uh, week, but a very good political uh, week uh, for uh, Netanyahu because Netanyahu feels that he can actually uh, do it. He can actually take Israel to a fifth election. And this time, of course, uh, Netanyahu thinks that he can master a majority and become the prime minister of Israel. As we said before, this is still, there's still a long way to go before Netanyahu can actually become a prime minister. First of all, even if you look at today's polls, you see that it's very, very complicated because uh, the Arab joint list uh, and uh, the Islamist party, they master around uh, 10 mandates. And there is no way that the partners of Netanyahu, like the uh, religious uh, Zionist uh, party, would sit with them on a coalition. So Netanyahu would have to master 60 ma uh, 61 uh, um, mandates only of the right. And this has not happened in the last uh, fourth election. And it's not clear that it's going to happen in the fifth uh, round. But at least for today, there's a huge boost in the numbers of the Likud. So instead of around 30 mandates that uh, was the scores in the polls uh, over the last uh, uh, couple of months, today Netanyahu's party, the Likud, got 38, 36, 35 uh, mandates uh, in the polls, which again uh, indicates uh, a boost of uh, votes coming uh, to uh, Netanyahu's camp. So Netanyahu is likely to 
reject any suggestions that he should step uh, aside and let somebody else from the right wing uh, form a coalition today without new elections, because as we said before, there are 70 members of Knesset uh, that belong to the right wing. And if Netanyahu is not the head, then both Saar and Lieberman and uh, Bennett would probably support such a right wing government. But Netanyahu blocks this option because he wants to remain the head of the Likud and uh, possibly the head of state. And that means that Netanyahu today thinks that he has very good chances of actually winning the next elections and becoming the prime minister of uh, Israel. Is this actually going to help Netanyahu in his trial? Because when you looked at this uh, situation over the last uh, three rounds of elections, then you could say, look, if Netanyahu would become a prime minister, his plan was to replace the minister of justice, to replace the attorney general, to replace, uh, to, uh, to put in place what we call the override clause, which means to block the ability of the Supreme Court uh, to, um, rever to uh, uh, reverse uh, decisions of the Knesset. So Netanyahu could pass a law uh, that says that he has immunity and he cannot be judged, uh, he cannot be put on trial while he is a prime minister which was the original plan of Netanyahu. But today, all these things have actually changed because the trial is going on, you cannot roll it back. Uh, the attorney general was just appointed a few weeks ago, you cannot uh, fire her. And even if, if Netanyahu would, it would not change much because uh, the judges uh, uh, are already there hearing his case. And actually, if you look at it from the trial perspective, you see that it is very likely that over the next uh, summer, Netanyahu is going to try to have another plea bargain and to get his way out of the, um, out of the trial. Because as we said before, this was a very tough week in terms of the trial of Netanyahu, making it much more uh, likely that he's actually going to serve time in prison uh, that complicates things on the political uh, scene for Netanyahu. So yes, Netanyahu wants to get back in power. Yes, Netanyahu uh, thinks that he can master this time a majority and have a right-wing coalition without any left, center, or Arab partners. But in terms of the trial, it may well be too late for Netanyahu, even if he does uh, go back uh, into uh, uh, power. And one last thing about that, uh, the longer we get into the trial, the tougher it is to get a more decent uh, deal for Netanyahu because the judges become more and more convinced uh, of the evidence that, the, that they hear. So if Netanyahu wants a plea bargain, which at least uh, seemed to be the case after this very uh, tough uh, week for Netanyahu, then he needs to do it very quickly this summer. And I don't think he will have the political uh, um, future does not match what is actually happening on, the, happening on the trial. Netanyahu would have to decide whether it goes with uh, the uh, political uh, uh, hope of becoming again the prime minister of Israel or cutting his losses and uh, saying, I prefer not to get to the moment where uh, I am uh, convicted uh, uh, in the court and uh, actually have a plea bargain, which effectively means to end his uh, political uh, career.